Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brandon giving you a little intro to this video. Uh, if it does seem a little all over the place, it's because it is a part of a large stream. Uh, if you missed out on watching us on Tuesday of last week, basically what we did was as uh, we were titling it Spin the Wheel. Um, so these are groups that we probably wouldn't be able to do kind of more of a long form deep dive for, but we would love to cover. And uh, so this was an idea that came, was come up by Alex. Basically, we throw all of these like songs or things that we like to react to, especially me since I'm the new one. I'm the baby. Um, so we spin the wheel. Whatever we land on, we wind up reacting to. Uh, we had a great time. We did it for like a good couple hours over on Twitch. Uh, so definitely join us for that if you do find it interesting. But yeah, this is kind of our uh, way of breaking it up a little bit more. If you do join us live on Twitch, you will be able to get Twitch uh, channel points, which then uh, you can redeem to add to our wheel. So that is how we are going to try to make this a little bit more community involved. We, we love doing the live videos and kind of having the live chat uh, have us help us out on what we we would like to react to or see or whatever or they want to kind of see what I'm going to react to or how I'm going to react so definitely if you want to join us or live and you would love to make your opinion known that is the best way to go do it um, channel points is just basically if you show up and hang out and comment and stuff you'll be able to redeem points uh, pretty easily so come join us for that if you do find it interesting uh, I'm basically breaking up like three hours worth of video content into just a bunch of reaction videos so come join us for that hope to do that a little bit more uh, frequently we try to we're going to try to kind of maybe do that um, a couple times a month so come join us we'd love to have you and we'd love to know what you would love to see from us so come join us uh as well as that if you like the content here make sure to uh subscribe and go give us a follow on twitch that'd be amazing and then you'd be able to come join us live uh, when we typically do those things, which are normally Monday, uh, every other Monday at 8 p.m. and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come join us and thank you for watching. If you liked this video, thank you for subscribing and hanging out. Loved, we love the K-pop community. So thank you for joining me in, on my journey and uh, I'm excited to see what suggestions you guys give me. So thank you for doing that and uh, let your voice be heard. So. See you guys in the next video and enjoy this video. Peace. Busy, busy week. <laughs> We're just glad to have you. We're just glad yeah, to have you. I'm back. excited. I I love I love checking these uh, things out. Uh, uh, oh, so close. Oh, I was really so excited close. though. Oh, this was oh. my ad. This was this was one I was really excited about. We could have we could have somebody I'm glad we didn't get Wu again because I feel like we get <laughs> the comments that it was rigged again. So <laughs> hey, we shuffled and we shuffled. We did yeah. shuffle. Yeah, we did shuffle. So, all right, let me get it all loaded up here, guys. This is um gonna be new to me. I've only heard one Black Swan yeah. song. Do you know? Okay, Therese, since you, I did, was this one of your choices or no? This was one of my choices. Okay. I'm not like a Black Swan stan necessarily, mm -hmm. okay. but I know of them. Um. They're under DR Music. I'm looking at the Wikipedia now. Mm, <laughs> um, right. And they're one of the K-pop groups that's known for having like a more global member line. Hmm. So um, yeah, I don't. I I think they have rotating uh, members, and um, I don't know a lot of their members, but I I really like them. I like the music that they put out every now and then. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah. Black Swan used to be Rania, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I, I'm I'm more aware of like the history of Black Swan than I am their music, but I do know like a couple songs. And I know they had quite a bit of member changes if I'm Yeah. Remembering correctly, right? Yeah, I think I thought it was like a so. a rotation, but uh Okay. I'm not super familiar. Oh, I'm just oh going they weren't supposed my... to have a rotation of members. It's just that some people left or got kicked. And That's what I'm thinking. Place. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Didn't realize. Yeah. I was over here like, oh, well, this must be normal for them. No, <laughs> now, I know. Okay. I know there was a lot of stuff that happened that went on with Black Swan in the past. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, well, this says... is a good. This is a good oh. song. Good fun song. I was gonna say, Gondo says, uh, I think at this point uh, is all different members from uh, Rainia. 
Uh, Rainia uh, was supposed to be rotational. Maybe uh, Block Swan is isn't supposed to be. So, okay. There we go. All right, All right. cool. Well, let's take a clarification. Out. Cat and mouse. Let's give it a listen. Appreciate it, guys. That cat was looking <laughs> awfully a lot like uh, Tom. Oh, boy. I don't know what you're talking about. That was just a typical <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> looking a lot like Tom there. We got the rights to that. I'm just right. that, was a, that was a cat and mouse by Black Swan. Yeah. There you go. Who wants uh, to go first? <laughs> I, I can go real quick. Okay. Um, I don't think I have like a ton to say. Sure. Um. I thought this was pretty nice to listen to. It's like kind of, it's kind of like a one note chilling. Yeah. Easy listening vibe. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me a little bit of like, uh, what's popular on us radio now. Like maybe like uh, someone like Doja would do a song like this. Mm, okay. I uh, could see that. Obviously with maybe like a little bit of a different tone, but instrumentally it reminds me of that style of music. We're in like this, uh, sort of like, retro style synth pop hip hop kind of lo fi -y, yeah mix sure yeah, yeah. um so i i think in that pocket it, it does pretty i think it does what it wants to do pretty well i don't mm -hmm. think there's anything i can pick out negatively about it um on the other hand it's the kind of music i listen to it's not something that i'm going to go out of my way to listen to um but it would yeah. never I, it would never come on and i would be like uh skip you know what Cut. i mean yeah mm -hmm. It's never gonna like uh, be jarring. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. The music was, <laughs> the music video was was fun. It was very very cheesy. Oh uh, yeah. As, yeah, as it should be, I guess. Um, but no, I think it, it, the music video seemed like it was kind of on the lower budget 
end, which makes sense. I don't think they're from like a, a huge company or super funded, but um, I think they made the most of it. The animation stuff was really cute. Yeah, the transitional cuts and stuff. Yeah, those are those are cool. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Uh, I very similarly to Alex, don't really too have much too much to say about this song. Um, I did notice. Um, there was some really cool, like, vocal layering going on in this track, more specifically, like, in the verses. Um, there was, like, yeah. some really cool, like, echoey, like, vocal parts towards, like, the back of the mix that I, I really appreciated. Um, so I don't know who's doing the vocal lines for that, like, more of the overdubs and stuff, but that was really cool. I like that. It gave it, like, this real, like, ethereal kind of, like, vibe to it that I really appreciated. Um, as well as that, uh, I... I don't know. It's just kind of like a solid song. I think if it showed up in my, I think if it showed up on like a playlist or something, I probably would enjoy it a lot. Um, just kind of like, oh, okay, cool. This is a good song. You know, not I wouldn't I wouldn't pass by it and have like strong emotion towards it or not. Um, but yeah, I think it's I, I think it was a solid song. I do see that uh, people in the chat were saying it was a B side, so I'm curious what the title track may have been for for this uh, release. Um, I'm sure it's on the wheel probably. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought it was a, I thought it was a pretty solid song. Was, wasn't too, like, too crazy on it, but nothing like, nothing that I don't think I would have enjoyed, you know, it kind of had the, it had typical things I already enjoy about the genre. So, you know, nothing bad, at least yeah, in my opinion. This is another from like a single album. So just one other song, not mm. in the same pocket. Um, I just really appreciated it because Black Swan is already a small group, but I kind of like seeing small groups follow the same trends that a lot of other groups are doing, like bigger groups, because mm. this is a recent song and it was coming out with all of the other easy listening songs that girl groups were into. So I think in that sense, it's smart because you get like this playlist of easy listening songs that have like La Seraphim, I whatever, and then like a little insert of Black Swan and then maybe someone comes around and they're like, ooh, what's this group? I like this group. Yeah, <laughs> um, exactly. So I don't know if it does that much different, but I did like the output. Like I think it's a solid output well, that's, from that's a small what, group. I, I think that's important to, to know and also ask yourself, like does it need to be different? Right. right? No. I and mean, yeah, I think the answer overall is no. Right, because you can't not always, for easy can't always be it. Yeah, you can't always be different. <laughs> yeah. Right, and like this isn't a group that needs to do experimental stuff to stay fresh or anything. They're just you know they're just trying to get like more the the listen riding in. the wave. Yeah, so, riding the wave. A yeah, little bit. yeah. Right. I will say it's one of my favorite music videos that utilizes like two D animation stuff mm, because yeah. that happens in a lot of stuff. And sometimes I'm like, this kind of feels lazy. Like they could have done another shot, but. Um, in this case, it was like relevant and it was very cutesy. Yeah, yeah. 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 I really like it. Um, side note: I remember when this came out because they, um, what is this album called? That Karma. Mm -hmm. uh, it came out like a month or something after Pixies Chosen Karma. Oh. oh. And there was the. I I'm making a joke. Obviously, there's no wars, but there was a joke about <laughs> the the Karma Wars in New Goo K-pop. <laughs> Oh my god! It was really, it was really funny. <laughs> Gondo, have a good night. Enjoy uh, Dune. Oh yeah, have fun. Wow. Um, let us know how it is. Yeah, let us know. You'll, uh, well, I'll be breaking these all up, so don't worry. They'll, they'll be showing up on YouTube if you're watching in the past. So, unless something happens, then they will not be here. But most likely, they will be here. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> no, this is, this was, this was. Uh, this was nice. I think it, I, I agree a lot with what Therese said, and I didn't even really kind of put that into consideration. But yeah, if this like showed up on a playlist of like K pop, like songs you like, and then just kind of threw in, because like I, I'll go through Spotify and I'll have like the list of, you know, what you've been listening to, and it'll give me like the newest Twice album I've had a lot on repeat, like, and then it'll try to funnel in new songs that I haven't heard yet. And some of the ones that I have funneled into my like channel have been like, I'm like, we can't do this. I can't listen to this song because I'm probably going to do a deep dive on it. So I have to hit skip or like remove it from the playlist or whatever. Aww. So 
so it's it's interesting you know i've gotten some like exo i've gotten some shiny like i've gotten some recommendations for those and i know we'll probably be covering those so i'm like can't do it um <laughs> i did want to preface i did hear some bts at the k k-pop club night the other night and i'm gonna try to see if i remember them or not <laughs> in k-pop <laughs> in bts month in june but we'll find out <laughs> I know one song's uh, with Steve I mean, Aoki. They got like <laughs> 350 songs. I, I think was gonna say it, he's fine. He heard my, he heard "Save Me" and "Mic Drop." Oh, easy, easy. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry, I didn't hear "Butter" last night, so that's that's the one I'm I'm stoked to hear. Yeah, because we're old. <laughs> we're old and we left early. Is that the one you know, or is that one that you haven't actually heard yet? No, that's a one I've actually heard. Yeah. The one, okay, yeah, yeah. That was a huge joke, guys. That was not real. Um, all right. Uh, getting some comments here. Uh, uh, Sweet Lee Siren asked if it was a title track, and Crusoe just said it's a B-side. Um, yes, Cat and Malice was a promoted B-side uh, from that Karma EP with <laughs> Karma as the title track. Uh, I'm not huge on the lo-fi as a general listening song, but a d so it doesn't have any sort of climax and resolution in a song. Uh, would have enjoyed a key change or some ad libs to make it feel a little less uh, the same in the back half. I, I could definitely agree with that for sure. Um, Crusoe says, yeah, I had to look it up after saying that because I remember Karma coming out around the same time. I think it was in relation to comment made earlier. Um, yeah, uh, since Snake Dive, uh, Sink Dive Winter, uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, there's also an English version of Karma and Cat and Mouse. Okay, did not know that. Very cool. Um, all right. Well, I think we're gonna get into the wheel again here. So, Sweetly Siren asked if we're gonna do Stray Kids stream this month. Um, we did? I didn't know they. Oh, oh, what? the new song, new song, right? Yeah, three, two, five. I, I don't know anything oh. about it. Um, but I'm out of. They the already loop, have honestly. a song called. 325, right? Oh, I don't know. 325. Uh it's their anniversary. Mm. Is there like a release or something? I don't know. Uh we we listened to <laughs> Yeah, let us know. A, a lot of Stray Kids already. If there's more new <laughs> stuff for us to listen to, we'll probably do another stream for them when they have like a new album or something. I did but, see something yeah, show we, up I think on my YouTube feed. Yeah, but I don't we've know. We've done like, like uh like 10 months. hours of Stray Kids or something already. <laughs> so we have done, yeah. We did do a lot of Stray Kids. That's if that's, there's if there's new music for Stray Kids, definitely we'll do it. Correct. So I saw a thing. couple like uh, um, member releases on their YouTube channel, but not officially okay. yet. Okay. Hmm. Cool. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. 